Feastables has never, since its very beginning, ever been kosher certified or halal certified. Have you ever seen the numbers of people that are working in chocolate, that are working in like horrible conditions? Mm. Around 20 years ago, a series of news stories and a documentary found that young children, some of whom had been enslaved or trafficked, were working on cocoa farms that supplied major chocolate companies. Mr. Beast is using child labor and slave labor for his chocolates today and has been since late 2023. Now, before we start talking about these new allegations, I want to point out in the previous videos, I mentioned that if Mr. Beast does not reply to any of these allegations, 99% he is going to be fine. It is not going to affect him that much. Just people will be talking. So I said it is most likely he's not going to confront any of these allegations. But just like you thought she is the one and then you were wrong later on, I was wrong in this situation. As it turns out, he is going to make a separate video, a video only for one purpose and one purpose only to reply to all these allegations it is going to be interesting if he's going to mention all the allegations is going is he going to take the blame is he going to blame it on someone else like logan paul overall 2024 has been a very stinky year for mr beast his situation is just like a food poisoning situation shit after shit diarrhea after diarrhea and just when he's preparing the response video letting out a thought thinking that it is a fart another diarrhea shit so with the amount of diarrheas coming towards his career and his image god knows he might make a response video in two days from now it might be six months from now now last week a youtuber goes by the name of anisley posted a video saying most damning mr beast allegations about feastables dog pack proof and in his video he went over three major points coming up with the receipt he didn't rosanna his shit he dog pack his shit with evidence but obviously these things are still alleged now to give you a little bit of context so you have more understanding about the situation chocolates are not always made in a happy chocolate factory place where there is flowers and rainbows and people happily making chocolates 20 years ago a series of news stories and a documentary found that young children some of whom had been enslaved or trafficked were working on cocoa farms that supplied major chocolate companies if you walk day. by a chocolate store there's you never say oh child labor oh yeah a lot of kids died for that chocolate you're giving for your a lot of little tiny unformed bodies are being forced to dig holes in the ground like many other industries chocolate is notorious for its exploitation of children using child labor and slave labor they use child labor forced labor unsafe conditions to farm these cacao beans that eventually makes its way to become chocolates at your table there are many companies that got exposed for child labor they hire children they un or pay them or sometimes they don't pay them at all they force them to uh, make chocolates very very horrible stuff where they bring a group of people children mainly to work in a jungle and create these products sometimes it's for sometimes it's not it's not only chocolate it is other products as well like you know chocolate illegal sugar and some other shit and brands such as hershey's and mars and perhaps we're going to see feastables today are notorious for refusing to eliminate child labor and slave labor from their supply chain of chocolates. Mr. Beast is using child labor and slave labor for his chocolates today and has been since late 2023. When Feastables first launched in January of 2022, if you went into their FAQ, their Frequently Asked Questions section, they proudly displayed that they were child labor free and slave labor free. As a matter of fact, in April of 2023, they doubled down and they added to their list of main menu options this option that said we're slave free. And if you clicked it, it had an entire dedicated page talking about how they were free of slave labor and child labor. But just a few months later in October of 2023, that main page item that said we're slave free, that was removed. In addition, in the frequently asked questions section, that stuff about being child labor free and slave labor free, that stuff also disappeared. Later in May of 2024, and even to this day, there is no mention whatsoever at all about any kind of ethical sourcing of ingredients. Now, this is probably your first time you're even hearing that Mr. Beast is saying that his chocolate is slave free. And why do companies do this in the first place? Well, the obvious answer is they want to make money. You see Kit Kat saying, have a break, have a Kit Kat. I care about all my customers. No, they fucking don't. Less money they spend on making the chocolate, the more profit that is going to go inside their pocket. And for Mr. Beast to, you know, not say it behind their chocolate, only putting it 
in their website which obviously no one fucking reads and after a year removing all of it as if nothing ever happened going john cena mod well all this website information it is john cena mod because no one actually reads it but the real question is why did he decide to remove it was he 50 50 about it did he not know if it was actually true or not the words coming out of his ass well the answer to this question lies in this video mr beast's former manager reed who is still sitting on the board of feastables he did a tour of the mr beast chocolate factory in peru and that video isn't all that important except for the very end where he thanks Machu Picchu Foods for the tour. Thanks to Machu Picchu Foods for having us. We literally got to see everything from how cocoa is created to how we create Mr. Beast bars. This tells us that Machu Picchu Foods is or was the manufacturer for Feastables. Now Machu Picchu is also Rainforest Alliance certified. They're also kosher certified and halal certified. But here's the thing. Feastables has never, since its very beginning, ever been kosher certified or halal certified. How is that possible when the manufacturer are both of those things? Now you might be thinking, maybe it's because Machu Picchu Foods does some of it and then someone adds stuff to the chocolate later. However, in that video with Reed, they actually show that Machu Picchu Foods, it seems like, takes it from cacao bean all the way to packaged candy. Why is it that the manufacturer says their chocolates are kosher and halal, but Feastables says it isn't? Well, I think this line from Reed has something to do with it. It's pretty wild. We have four chocolate lines going, and we can't meet demand. So we need, the, we need way more chocolate lines. I think Mr. Beast knew all along that they would have to scale. And when they scaled, they were going to move away from Machu Picchu Foods. That means away from their halal certification, away from the kosher certification, away from the Rainforest Alliance certification. And that's why they chose to omit these things from their packaging. Because if one day it was kosher and halal, and the next day it wasn't, then people might start to ask questions as to why and when they ask questions as to why they might also discover that you know what else has been changed the stuff about child labor free and slave labor free why would mr beast do all this the simple answer is money i really look forward to see what mr beast how is he going to respond to all of this my two best two guesses is He's going to blame Chris for it. Since Chris is already canceled, let them let all this damage fall on him and he's going to put some money in Chris and Chris is going to be, Mr. Ava is going to come out and be like, yes, it was me. I introduced it to Mr. Beast. Second best guess will be like, he's going to play blind and he's going to be like, I did not know. I got into business with the wrong people and had no idea that this whole thing was happening. You have to believe me. I cured 3,000 disabled people. I am a good person. But something doesn't add up to me. If Mr. Beast is spending this much money on his videos, millions of dollars why is he not paying a little bit portion take a little bit if you're out of the budget take a little bit out obviously these things are all alleged take a little bit out of the budget from the video and put it in your chocolate factory whatever the freaky shit it is and make it properly hire have a factory hire professional people and pay them a little bit more and go with this whole business legally and normally do not be a shaitan about it just because you want to save some video i thought the last stingiest person in this world would be mr beast with the amount of money that he's giving out to people and i thought the stingiest person in the world was my dad because god forbid if i turn on the ac while it is winter time but my dad goes out of the picture when Mr. Beast comes in. Jimmy takes a title away from my dad for being the stingiest person ever if it is all true. Honestly, allegedly. Did I say allegedly? Because it is allegedly. But with the evidence that is being shown, we just have to see what Mr. Beast replies to all of it. And then we can take it from there. I think Mr. Beast knew the entire time, since the beginning of Feastables, that he was going to use child labor and slave labor for his chocolates. But he tried to trick us into thinking otherwise. When Mr. Beast first launched Feastables, it was in line with his brand. They were clearly trying to do things ethically. They actually got a certification from the Rainforest Alliance. The Rainforest Alliance has major issues, but they push for protecting and improving forests, climate, human rights, and livelihood. Once you're certified, you're able to use their logo, which is a little frog, on all of your products, your website, on all of that stuff. When I saw the packaging for Feastables, both old and new, there was no Rainforest Alliance certified logo anywhere. Now, why would these brilliant marketers choose to leave that off when that would, again, boost your brand favorability in the eyes of consumers? The only conclusion that I can think of is that Mr. Beast knew. He knew that one day they were going to get rid of that certification. You see, if you one day that package has a frog logo on it and the next day it disappears, 
people will notice. So this takes us to the first point that, you know, he knew that he was going to expand and go with companies that can be a little bit shady to save some money because they need to produce more. And the reason why there is no family friendly sticker on the chocolates makes sense now. So it really starts to question things. Was Mr. Beast doing all this, saving the planet, saving the jungles, cleaning up the ocean out of the goodwill of his heart or just to protect his image it is very easy to be liked on tv or social media you can watch your favorite actor being so good in a movie and you're gonna be like oh my god i love this you don't love them you love their character i thought amber rose was a good person until i found out in real life she takes shits on johnny depp's bed there was signs with mr beast where we missed it having smiling with having no reaction in his eyes but if this whole thing turns out to be true Again, I think nothing is going to happen to him because the majority of people are just watch him for entertainment. They don't give a shit what he does and how his chocolate is made. This will forever be the biggest controversy on the internet. I believe this is even bigger than Andrew Tate. But unfortunately, 300 something million people are too many people. The only person who can give Jimmy a freak out session, have Jimmy go on a mental breakdown on the internet and expose himself, snitch on himself unlimitedly, about everything that he did that was not mentioned even in these allegations is if Cristiano passes him on his uh, subscribers count. It is possible, but not for a very long time. Cristiano's at, I don't know, 30, 40 million subscribers right now. Mr. Beast is still at 300 something million and growing. So we will have this conversation a year from now and let's wait for Mr. Beast to have a response and see what he is going to respond to all the allegations. I feel like the month Mr. Beast responds Stay tuned. Mr. B's face is going to be all over my channel. He's done. Ended. It's ended. It's over. Career ending. Mr. B's career is just... All that shit. <laughs> and unfortunately, it is not only Mr. B's. It is other major companies like Mention that are doing this. But unfortunately, a lot of people don't know about this. And most people who do don't care. And they just love their chocolates too much to care about this whole situation. Anyways, just wanted to talk about this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Subscribe if you're new here. Take care of yourself. I will see you at the next one.